we learn now is the unitary method. Unitary method is basically unitary, as the word unitary itself suggests, unit. In a unitary method, what happens is that we are given a certain set of variables. So suppose we are told that R went to market and bought five balls for rupees 25. Okay, this is one of the assumptions we are given. Now, if we were to be asked, what is the price of one ball? So how do we find the price of one ball? We know that the total price of five balls is rupees 25. And we also know the number of balls. So if we divide these two, 5 times 5 is 25, this gives us 5 is to 1, and the price of one ball is 5. So what do we do? We found out the value of one ball or one unit of ball. Unit means one. So we found out the price of one unit. So the method in which we first find price of one unit and then value of desired number of units is called unitary method. So in this method, the first thing we do is we find the price of one unit. So in my example, I find out the price of one unit. And what was that one unit here? It was one ball. After getting the price of one unit, it becomes very easy. Suppose someone tells me what is the price of six balls? I know if I have to buy one ball, the price is five into number of units or number of balls. So five times six gives me 30. So once I have found out the price of one unit, then it becomes easier for me to find out the price of any number of units that I want. And this is what is called the unitary method. So you do it in two steps. First, you find out the price of one unit. And once you are done with that, then you can find out the price of any number of units by multiplying the price of one unit by the desired number of units.